It's September and this is the Library Road Show. On the show today, learning about the past and retooling your own skills for the present. Welcome to the September edition of the Library Roadshow. I'm Mary Stein, and this is a production of your East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. Coming up this month, the source highlights the return of our popular series with certified professional organizer, Alyssa Trosclair. Todd Graves is the featured speaker of the monthly business forum, Garden Discoveries focuses on trees, Saturday Science reveals the signs of sports, and Fall Frights get your blood curdling. September is Library Card Sign-Up Month. If you haven't updated your library card, you're missing out on so much. And it's free and easy. Just bring your ID and proof of address with you when you visit any of our 14 convenient locations to get started. It's also Read an eBook Month, and we've got you covered with more than 200,000 eBooks ready to download in the digital library. Our premier platform, Overdrive, uses the OneTap Libby app to deliver ebooks, audiobooks, magazines, and even streaming media to your computer, laptop, iPad, or smartphone. You can search for ebooks, place them on hold, and borrow up to 15 at a time. And they're never late since they return themselves. We also offer ebooks for kids in Scholastic Flicks, Tumble Books, and Tumble Cloud and reference books in platforms like Britannica and Credo Reference. Last year, readers downloaded more than a million ebooks from the digital library, and I'd like to keep that trend going. Get started today. All you need is that library card. Free access to books, audio, and library resources are just a few of the benefits available to you when you get a library card. Need free access to a computer? You get that. Want free access to premium digital resources like Mango Languages and Lynda.com? You get that. Need to book a meeting space? You get that. Heck, you can even check out a telescope or use a digital printer with your library card. If you live in East Baton Rouge Parish, pick up your free library card from your local branch library today. Premium access to everything the library system has to offer is waiting for you. Now more than ever, people are putting real effort and intentionality into self-improvement. The library is there for you with a host of online learning platforms available free with your library card. It's time to find out more in the digital download. Gail presents Udemy offers access to more than 10,000 self-paced on-demand video courses for the most in-demand skills across business, technology, design, and personal interest. This resource can teach users how to code, sharpen leadership skills, produce a podcast, increase productivity, tap into your creativity, and more. New courses are constantly added based on trending topics reflecting the latest in-demand skills. Once you've created your Udemy account through the library, you can make use of the excellent Udemy app for Apple and Android devices and learn on the go. Check out Udemy in the digital library. Gale's Udemy platform is amazingly robust. Thousands of classes available for you whenever and wherever you want. Work skills, leisure classes, you can really level up with Udemy. We also offer LinkedIn Learning, Gale Courses, Learning Express, Cell ED, and several language programs, plus a host of specialized trainings in Treehouse and O'Reilly. Check out the e-learning info guide on the library's website. Let's shift gears and check in with Kayla Perkins reporting in from Beyond the Stacks. We know you love comics and your library's got the event just for you. We're at the Main Library of Goodwood for the fourth annual Mid-City Microcon celebrating comics and diversity. Let's check it out. My name is Jessica McDaniel. I'm the Community Programming and Outreach Librarian here at the East Baton Rouge Parish Library. Right now, I today, I am the one of the event coordinators of the Mid-City Microcon. Hi, my name is Mercedes Killingsworth and today I am dressed as Domino from Deadpool. Her power is being super lucky, and yes, luck is a superpower. 
My name is Rondrika, and today I am dressed as uh, Sailor Moon, and she is an anime character. She is a magical girl that uh, specializes in magical attacks. Today we are at the Mid-City Microcon at the East Baton Rouge Parish main branch of the library. It's essentially a comic, um, comic book, anime, overall nerdum event. We have tons of vendors here today. We have uh, over 20 vendors here at the library showing off their, uh, their artwork, their wares, their things that they create with their own minds and their own hands. We also have some sessions that are back to back this afternoon in our large meeting room. The panel discussion today was just saying how like these small businesses, local businesses got started um, and just how it is to be like a nerd and just you know the community you build around that and just meeting those connections with people that you go to you know, at different cons and events, especially even here at the library. So this event, we love to celebrate um, diverse and inclusive comics creators and fans, and everyone is welcome to find out these new and local artists who you might not know. I love this con. It's, one is free, so anyone can come to it. You don't have to worry about that. A lot of times that's a barrier for people. It's just the fee that comes with going to cons. So it's great, and it's local, it's nearby. You know, anyone can come. I think the library is doing a great job at hosting this event. I am a Baton Rouge native, and I'm very excited to see the fandom culture grow in my city. They're doing a wonderful job with putting this event on, and I'm so happy to participate in this event today. If you've seen any Marvel, DC movies, like it's growing. It's becoming more popular nowadays, so you don't have to worry about being shunned or anything like that. You'll, you'll find someone that, that will relate to you. The library wants to provide access, and this is the best way that we know how to do it. It's one of a kind in the Baton Rouge area. There's never a dull moment at the Mid-City Microcon, and I can't wait till next year. To find out what's coming up next, pick up a copy of our monthly newsletter, The Source, or visit us online at www.ebrpl.com. Thanks, Kayla. Judging by all those smiles, the Microcon was a great success. Stay right there after the break. Tara Deering joins me for a chat right here on the Library Roadshow. The East Baton Rouge Parish Library believes that free entertainment is good for us all. That's why we make ebooks and audiobooks available for free through the Libby app, grant free access to unlimited streaming music and video through Freegal, Canopy, and IndieFlix. Get a library card. Get free entertainment at ebrpl.com slash digital library. Connor is struggling in school. Finding lowest airfare to Istanbul. Why don't you understand me? I do. This is what it feels like for kids with learning and attention issues. Redirecting to understood.org. You're watching the September edition of the Library Roadshow. Everything you need to know about your local library system. Now, the author-illustrator series has been a staple of our fall programming for 44 years. And normally that means several days of live programs right here at the main library. But COVID had a different idea. Joining me now is Tara Deering, Coordinator of Children's Services, to share how the series will play out this year. Okay, Tara, first of all, who is our special author? author illustrator. Our feature author illustrator this year is C Selena Yoon. Mm -hmm. um, she was also the illustrator for this summer's uh, summer reading program, Tales and Tales. Oh, that was a wonderful yes. art series. And uh, she has um, over a dozen picture books and over 200 novelty books for kids. Um, she's a over 200? Over 200. Oh my gosh. So, so, so who's the audience for most of her books? The, the art looks a little bit younger to me. It is for younger elementary and board book readers. Okay. Um, so young families. Young families. Okay. Absolutely. And, and what are her books mostly about? Because if we're looking for a young audience, we're talking yeah. about um, a limited vocabulary, big print. Big print, limited vocabulary, large, clear, beautiful artwork. Beautiful um, graphic design. Beautiful graphics, yes. She loves fun, friendly animal characters. You can't go wrong with no. an animal like yeah. duck, 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 porcupine. porcupine. <laughs> okay. We'll talk about the books in just a minute, but first of all, since she cannot come visit us in purple, 
person. Mm -hmm. What are we going to be able to offer instead? She's, it's going to be virtual, and we normally yes. have a family night and then a teacher librarian workshop. So what's going to happen for the children themselves? So what we're going to do is we're going to host a virtual uh, presentation uh, by Selena uh, via our YouTube channel mm -hmm. and um, folks at home, folks at school, classes, teachers, librarians, um, interested parties can all register online at our events calendar to attend that program from 9 until 9.45. Right, so instead of in the evening for families, it's going to be in the daytime, but this yes. way, school teachers, school librarians, yes. Head Start centers, right. homeschooling families, they can all log in after breakfast, can't they? Yes, that they can. I, I love that. And that'll be on Thursday the 7th of October. October 7th, mm -hmm. so just a month from now. Yeah. Just right okay. around the corner. And then the workshop for teachers, librarians, and lovers of children's lit, instead of a Friday workshop here in the building, what mm -hmm. are we going to do? We are also going to host that one uh, live online. Um, it will be through our Zoom network. Uh -huh. And for the registered participants, they will actually have two weeks to go back and look at uh, the the recording of that presentation. Uh, so if they're at work during the presentation, which is from uh, 10 o'clock until 1230 okay. on that Friday, October 8th. Okay. Uh, if they're not able to tune in, as long as they register, they still have two weeks to go ahead and, and listen to her wonderful presentation. So that's going to really up the convenience factor yes, because normally for that Friday, we have librarians and teachers who travel from all over the state yes. come for that special workshop. But this way, they don't have to worry about traffic. And if for some reason they couldn't get out of class, they can watch right. it on Saturday, Sunday, they can watch it at night, whenever yeah. it's convenient for the next two weeks. But you must register. You must register. Um, because we're doing it virtual, we are hosting it free this year. And that's a special, mm -hmm. special deal. I'm so thrilled that we're able to yes. work that out with her. Yes. Um, now, normally we sell books, and these are beautiful books. I am really thrilled with the art on this. Yes. So we do, we had already purchased the books. We had already purchased all the books, so we have lots and lots of books to sell. Um, this year, instead of us having our little sales table outside of the room, um, this year we'll be selling them here from the main library, children's desk. Mm -hmm. So if you come to the children's room at the main library, you can purchase um, any of the books that we have in stock. And she'll have signed the book plate. Yes, we have her signing book plates right now. She's signing away furiously. That's right. Because, and she'll send those to us. Because for many people, having that signature from the author adds a lot of value, a lot of yeah. lanyap to that book. Yeah. I know a lot of people who plan on using these for Christmas presents yes. and uh, birthday presents, holiday gifts every year. But I am really struck by the art. And this over 200 books, but a lot of awards, Tara. Yes, lots of awards. The, this m most recent one is a Geisel honor book. Now, we know Geisel as Dr. Seuss. That's right. <laughs> so this is a premier award. Yes, it is. And then other wor awards, um, <laughs> the New York Public Library's Best Book for Kids for Duck Duck Porcupine. Yes. That's a huge list to be on. Yes, but it is. this one, oh, I love the look this of this board awesome. book. That won the International Literacy Association. Association's Children's Choice Reading List Award. That's yes, huge. That means not just people like me liked it, but the children themselves yes. uh, responded, engaged. You know, that made a difference to them. And it's yes. all about finding that book that sparks joy That's in right. a children's <laughs> life, which brings me to a little joy <laughs> spark right there. Marie Kondo, yes. who we know as the organizing queen. Yes. So they, uh, she got with Marie Kondo to, to write Kiki and Jacks, and so it's to teach kids how to tidy up at home. That's in a okay. fun way. Okay, so this is homework for, but but disguised as fun. That's right. <laughs> and interestingly enough, we're also running our own organizing series starting this month again. So you could play both sides of the fence there, That's families. Right. That's I'm, right. I am loving that. <laughs> okay, well, how do people find out more about this? Because there's so many details. So online at our website, obviously, www.ebrpl.com. Um, it's in the newsletter. Go, it's in the newsletter, the yes. And they'll go to the events calendar, and they can register directly online, and they'll be sent the email link 
uh, through the email, they'll be sent that link that they can go ahead and tune in uh, to either the Thursday or the Friday. And, and if you're a teacher in a classroom and you mm -hmm. want to share this with your your students, mm -hmm. only the teacher needs to register, not the individual That's students. That's right. That's okay. right. The teacher can register and it is posted in her And then y'all will send that link out to them. Yes, we will. I really appreciate the way that you and your staff have made some COVID lemonade out of this situation. Right. And my hope is that more children and more librarians and more teachers will be able yeah. to participate because of the virtual nature, yeah. we'll be expanding the reach. So it is some COVID lemonade and we're going to... Um, yeah, we wanted to make sure that it was still accessible that's to right. as many people as possible. That's right. So I'm excited to learn more about these ducks and that, porcu <laughs> that porcupine in a They're few cute. weeks. After the break, author Judy Christie, plus we have book reviews from one of our younger library patrons. All that and more coming up next on the Library Roadshow. The East Baton Rouge Parish Library believes that staying informed is good for us all. That's why we provide free access to the New York Times and other national newspapers online. Permit free access to niche magazines and articles through Press Reader. Get a library card. Get informed at ebrpl.com slash newspapers. Welcome back to the September edition of the Library Roadshow. An award-winning journalist, Judy is the co-author of Before and After, the incredible real-life stories of orphans who survived the Tennessee Children's Home Society, a project that combines her love of stories, her Southern heritage, and her journalism background. She wrote the book with longtime friend Lisa Wingate, author of the bestseller Before We Were Yours, a fictional account of the Tennessee Children's Home Society scandal. Christy joins me now by phone to discuss this project. Christy, go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us how you got started as an author. Hi, my name is Judy Christy. I became an author from a young age because I loved reading books, writing books, and talking about books. I started up in Caddo Parish, and I still write a book column for the Shreveport Times. I'm the author of 18 books, 10 novels, and 8 nonfiction books. Today, I'll be talking about Before and After, the incredible real-life stories of orphans who survived the Tennessee Children's Home Society. What is this book about? This is a book about a terrible baby and children brokering system that went on in Memphis, Tennessee, and throughout the U.S. from 1925 to 1950. What inspired you to write it? This book was inspired by a novel by Lisa Wingate. The novel, which I hope you will read, is Before We Were Yours, and it is the fictional account of this orphanage, the Tennessee Children's Home Society. However, it also became a nonfiction book. Really, Before and After is the real life nonfiction sequel to a novel. It's the only one that I've ever heard of. And I'm so excited that we got the opportunity to tell these stories of resilience, real people stories who came forward after they read the novel and said, hey, let me tell you what happened to me. I was one of those adoptees. What do you hope readers will take away from your book? We hope very much that readers will take away from this book the importance of story, of sharing your story, of listening to other stories. It helps build empathy. It helps build community. It's the importance of libraries and book clubs. How can our viewers learn more about you? If People would like to know more about me and my work or would like a behind-the-scenes look at before and after, including a book club kit, please see my website, www.judychristie.com, or look for me on my author page, Judy Christie, on Facebook. Thank you for reading. Thank you, libraries. You make such a difference in our world. Thanks, Christy. Readers can find both Christy's nonfiction title and the fabulous fictional version by Lisa Wingate on the shelves of their local branch library. 
It's now time to check in with one of our younger patrons to find out what they're reading at the library. I'm Carson. I'm nine years old. My favorite book is The Tale of Despero. This book is about a mouse, a rat, um, a girl named Megary Sow, and the mouse is trying to save the princess, and the rat is trying to come up with revenge to get on the princess because of like a glare she took on him. The kitchen floor with cooking oil instead of clean, sir. She sneezed directly into the king's pork chop moments before she it was served to him. Of all the good for nothings I have encountered, shouted Cook. Surely you're the worst. The worst curly founder, you're the good for nothingest. My mom brings me to the library. When I come to the library, I like to read the book I'm reading and sit down in like one of those rocking chairs and like just read for 30 minutes or something. Thanks, Carson. You keep right on reading and you can keep logging books and activities in the library's Beanstack app. So level up, earn those badges. Stay right there. You're watching the Library Road Show. The East Baton Rouge Parish Library System believes that knowing where you come from is good for us all. That's why we grant free access to genealogy resources available through Ancestry.com. Make the vast historic resources of Heritage Quest available to you online. Get a library card. Get your family tree at ebrpl.com slash genealogy. Hello, my name is Melissa Easton. I'm head of the Special Collections Department for the East Baton Rouge Parish Library. Located on the second floor of the main library at Goodwood, where Baton Rouge history comes alive. The Special Collections Department invites you to visit the newest chapter in our digital archive, the African American Funeral Program Collection. Funerals are an important tradition in the black community. One aspect of the legacy of systematic racism in the United States is that African American obituaries historically were not often printed in a community's paper of record. As you may know, obituaries serve as a primary source in genealogical research, and this lack of information further complicates the process of discovery when tracing the genealogies of African American people. The funeral program tradition started sometime in the mid-20th century with some of the earliest known programs dating from the 1930s. Funeral programs serve a range of purposes from offering a written record of a service to celebrating lives and aiding in the grieving process. They also offer a wealth of historical information about community, community members. These pieces of memorabilia often contain personal information, including photographs, birth and death dates, maiden names of relatives, education, work history, church and organization affiliation, past residences, and places of burial. The items in this collection are scanned from private collections, and the library does not retain physical copies. You can find the African American Funeral Programs collection in the Baton Rouge Digital Archive located at www.ebrpl.com. If you have programs you would like to share, please call our archivist at 225-231-3752. Learn more about African American history in the Special Collections Department located on the second floor of the main library at Goodwood, where Baton Rouge history comes alive. You're watching the September edition of the Library Roadshow, a production of your East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. Remember that the folks in Special Collections are standing by to assist you in your own search for family members. They're happy to get you started on your genealogical quest, no matter how much or how little you already know about your family tree. And they can also help you become expert searchers using our powerful genealogy databases. A current listing of geneal logical workshops is available in the online calendar and in this month's issue of The Source. It's all available at the main library on Goodwood and it's free with your East Baton Rouge Parish Library card. Book clubs create communities of people who love reading. They usually meet once a month to celebrate a story or to explore a new topic together. 
here at the Jones Creek Regional Branch Library, they don't just have a club, they have a society. Let's check it out. I'm Mary Vogt. We are at the Jones Creek Library on Jones Creek, of course, and we have a historical society book club. First, we try to talk among ourselves and choose nonfiction history. We are trying to expand past just the naming of events that we learned in our formal education and go past deeper into the characters, the man or the woman, a deeper understanding of the people of history and then share. What do you enjoy about working at this branch? The Jones Creek Library is a community neighborhood gathering place. Um, people, patrons say that we're friendly and we're very helpful. I know reference is very helpful, especially to seniors. Another thing that local patrons have really enjoyed is our curbside service. We do not have a drive through but many, many people have been putting items on hold. Then they can call ahead. We can put it in a paper bag and you get a curbside service outside, which is like takeout at the restaurant. Others put it on hold and just come in and go. So it makes it very convenient. Jones Creek Historical Society meets once a month on the third Thursday. You may attend whenever it's convenient for you. We have changed to a morning 11 o'clock meeting because it was convenient for more of our members. But if you find that one book interests you, you may come for just that. Find more book club picks in the digital library through Novelist Plus, Info Guides, and more. And find more book clubs in our monthly source newsletter and in the events calendar at ebrpl.com. A good historical novel will make history come alive. Why not consult Novelist in the digital library to zero in on a book set in the time period and place that interests you? Your librarian can help you find other authors and novels. I personally try to read a historical novel before I travel to any particular place, and I love historical mysteries the best. And now for today's contest, visit the library's Facebook page at facebook.com slash ebrpl. Share your favorite ebook discovery or tell us why you love ebooks. That's facebook.com slash ebrpl. And while you're there, enjoy. We're not your grandfather's library anymore. What's coming up on the Library Roadshow in October? It'll be time for the Baton Rouge Mini Maker Fair. Tune in next month and I'll take you behind the scenes at another fun library program. Next month, you'll learn about another service offered at your local branch library. Thanks so much for joining us on the Library Roadshow. And remember, your East Baton Rouge Parish Library is open seven days a week at each and every one of 14 branches, plus 24 seven on the web. Check us out at ebrpl.com. That's how we